good morning class 11th this video is for you mother's day is still going on today we have to start the next from here page number 45 but i am just telling you in connection that is this incident on that page described is related to this only george and mrs pearson they are talking about uh, that is the tea not prepared by her and as he tells that he has to go to club and uh, he will be taking the dinner there as there was a match uh, then she tells over there is okay she hasn't prepared and he gets angry and he tells that if in case he wanted then she tells over there it is just like that at uh, if at the bar counter uh, he gets angry at the person uh, that is the person who is serving okay that he hasn't poured the beer there though he did not want it means that him see the reaction at that time uh, of that person that is and but he is showing anger to her now children next to that okay now you pay attention george indignantly indignantly means hatredly laugh at me they don't laugh at me now here they means the people at club mrs pearson of course they do they ought to have found uh, that out by this time anybody else would have done you are one of their standing jokes famous they call you pompey wompy pearson because they think you are so slow and pompous now here yeah, mrs pearson tells they laugh Be besides that one because he has been going every day there so he is becoming that is a part that is one of their standing jokes it means they look at him and laugh at uh, laugh at him besides that one because he is the fat side over there they call him pompey wompy pearson and uh, they think that uh, he is very slow and he does the show off pompous pompous means airy that is show off george horrified never mrs pearson it's always uh, beaten me why you should uh, why should why sh why you should want to spend so much time at a place where they are always laughing at you behind your back and calling you names leaving your wife at home night after night instead of going out with her who doesn't make you look a fool now here she's telling over there when he doesn't agree she tells yes they do and besides that one she doesn't understand why does why why it means he likes to go to such a place every day leaving his wife behind uh, and he doesn't care for her emotions even also uh, that is in spite of that one that is uh, it means he doesn't he neglect her and uh, he doesn't uh, think uh, that uh, how she must be feeling the whole day and every uh, late at night she remains alone at home because even the children also go out and then that is uh, if he will go out along with her that will be she will also get the company and at least she does she doesn't laugh at her and she won't laugh at her and she won't make him a fool. Cyril enters. Now here children. Cyril enters right with a glass of milk in one hand and a thick slice of cake in other. George almost dazed turns to him appealingly. That is here Cyril enters from the other direction. He has a glass of milk and in, an, in one hand and a thick slice of cake in another hand. And uh, George almost dazed. It means he gets shocked and turns to him appealingly as if he wants his favor. Now, next half. George, here Cyril, you have been with me to the club once or twice. They don't laugh at me and call me Pompey Wompy Pearson, do they? Cyril embarrassed, hesitates angrily. Go on, tell me, do they? Cyril embarrassed, well, yes, dad, I am afraid they, they do. Now here George, that is he wants the he wants favor of uh, Cyril and he tells him that once or twice he has also gone to club along with him that he wants to tell it means Mrs. Pearson he wants him to tell Mrs. Pearson that the people at club they do not laugh at him they do not call him Pompey Wompey Pearson and all that but Cyril like opposite to his expectation. Uh, he tells over there, yes, that they laugh. It means the people at the club laugh at him. George slowly looks from one to the other, staggered. It means he well, is not expecting that Cyril would be giving such a blunt answer like that. So he feels uncomfortable. George slowly, well, I'll be damned. 
damned means that he has that he is not favored by him even also that is it means he is feeling very bad now here george now here now here you will just see that is written in the bracket george exits left slowly almost as if somebody had hit him over the head as if somebody had hit him over the head cyril after watching him go turns indignantly to mrs pearson it means george doesn't like because in front of his wife cyril has insulted him by not taking his favor and then as he as uh, when he uh, leaves the place at that time he turns to his mother and he shows his anger now you shouldn't have told him that mom that's not fair you have hurt his feelings and mine too mrs pearson sometimes it does people good to have their feelings hurt the truth oughtn't to hurt anybody for long if your father didn't go to the club so often perhaps they would stop laughing at him said el gloomily i doubt it now mrs pearson sometimes it does people good to have their feelings hurt like here she like mrs pearson tells that sometimes it is nice uh, like it means some pay like their their truth should be told to them and let their feelings be hurt there and uh, if uh, like his father uh, did not go to the club so often frequently that is every day that is, at that time they would not have laughed at him cyril gloomily means sadly i doubt it now mrs pearson severely severely means strictly children it is next page possibly uh, you do but what i doubt is whether your opinions worth having what do you do what do you know nothing you spend too much time and good money at greyhound races and dart tracks and i shows then he tells over there that is even also he what he does even also it means he suppose not to he has no right to ask such type of the questions because he too does the same thing like here he is also spending his wasting his uh, hard earned money at the greyhound races and dart tracks and i shows it means that is even also we can just call it over there it means um, it means at the wrong it means he is also doing betting it is a sort of betting only and he is wasting his money cyril sulkily sulkily means he also doesn't like what the mother tells over there what if i do i have got to enjoy myself somehow haven't i mrs pearson i wouldn't mind so much if you were really enjoying yourself but are you and where is getting you there is a sharp hurried knocking hard of left cyril might be for me i'll see like here then cyril tells over there that that is okay if he is finding somehow to to enjoy over there then she should not mind that one mrs pearson tells over there if he is really enjoying that's okay but actually he is not enjoying rather he is wasting his money and just at that time there is a knocking at the door now cyril he want he just gets the uh, that is excuse over there that is to open the door it means he wants to go away from there now cyril hurries out left in a moment he re enters closing the door behind him it means he comes there and that is re enters and he closes the door behind him it's that silly old bag from next door mrs fitzgerald you don't want her here do you then he he doesn't allow mrs fitzgerald to enter and he calls her that, that is uh, old uh, that is a silly old bag it means because she is a fatter side only and he tells that miss to mrs pearson that if she wants him there mrs pearson sharply means just getting annoyed and just bluntly certainly i do ask her in and don't call her a silly old bag either she is a very nice woman with a lot more sense than you will ever have then she tells over there yes she wants to see her she wants to talk to her she wants her there and rather even she objects also to call her a silly old bag and she calls her a very nice woman and she tells that she has a, a lot more sense than even the cyril has 
Cyril exits left. Mrs. Pearson uh, finishes her stout, smacking her lips. Cyril re-enters left, ushering in Mrs. Fitzgerald, who hesitates in the doorway. Then Cyril then goes over there. He opens the door. Besides that one, Mrs. Pearson, she has a stout glass in her hand. She finishes that one. She licks her lips there. And then when he opens the door, he allows Mrs. Fitzgerald to enter inside the house. Children, next now. Okay, come in, come in, Mrs. Fitzgerald. And then Mrs. Pearson tells over there, that is, welcomes her, welcomes Mrs. Fitzgerald and asks her to come inside. Mrs. Fitzgerald moving to the left center anxiously. I just wondered if everything all right. It means Mrs. Fitzgerald with the personality of Mrs. Pearson. Very submissively, she asks Mrs. Pearson with the personality of Mrs. Fitzgerald if everything was is going on well. She just wants to see that. Cyril, sulkily, means sadly. No, it isn't. It means the things are not going nicely. Mrs. Pearson sharply, of course it is. You be quiet. That is, Mrs. Pearson tells Cyril to be quiet and she tells Mrs. Fitzgerald that everything is going on nicely. Cyril indignantly and loudly, why should I be quiet? Mrs. Pearson shouting, because I tell you, you silly spoiled young pickin. Mrs. Fitzgerald protesting nervously, oh no, surely. At that, Mrs. Pearson, when she asks her, Cyril to keep quiet and he tells that why he's supposed to keep quiet, that is because that is our house and that is uh, he, uh, that is his family. Then Mrs. Pearson gets angry over there and she calls him silly spoiled young pickin. Children pickin is there in their local language that it is, it is they called it a uh, little boy, right? Little boy that he doesn't have the sense to speak. Now Mrs. Fitzgerald, she protests that one and she tells that she doesn't, she should not. It means, it means Mrs. Pearson should not speak like this. Mrs. Pearson severely, very harshly, now Mrs. Fitzgerald, now Mrs. Fitzgerald, just let me manage my family in my own way, please. Mrs. Fitzgerald, yes, but Cyril, Cyril, sulkily and glowingly, gloweringly, Mr. Cyril Pearson to you, please, Mrs. Fitzgerald, Cyril stalks off into the kitchen. And then Mrs. Fitzgerald, she tells over there, when she asks, Mrs. Pearson asks Mrs. Fitzgerald, that is, let her not interfere inside and let her manage her own, her family in her own way. And she requests for that one. Then Mrs. Fitzgerald tells, but what about the Cyril? Then Cyril tells, let him not call only Cyril. Rather, he supposed to, she supposed to call Mr. Cyril Pearson. It means in a formal way over there, Mrs. Fitzgerald. And he tells, he goes to the kitchen. Now, children, next page. Now here, now you just see Mrs. Fitzgerald uh, moving to the settee. It means she, want, she goes over there to sit. Whispering, oh dear, what's happening? And she very slowly, she asks, what is going on? Mrs. Pearson calmly, very quietly, nothing much, just putting them in their places. That's all, doing what you ought to have done long since. That is, she is telling over there that nothing is, everything is okay. She is just showing their position in the house over there. And that one, you, you means that is because Mrs. Fitzgerald is with the personality of Mrs. Pearson. And she tells over there, it is, that is, it means as a mother, she is supposed to have done it even beforehand. Mrs. Fitzgerald is George home. Uh, she sits beside Mrs. Pearson on the settee. Uh, Mrs. Pearson, yes, I have been telling him what they what they think of him at the club. Mrs. Fitzgerald, well, they think a lot of him, don't they? Mrs. Pearson, no, they don't. And now he knows it. Mrs. Fitzgerald, nervously, oh dear, I wish you hadn't, Mrs. Fitzgerald. Mrs. Pearson, nonsense, doing them all a word of good and they will be eating out of your hand soon. You will see, that is. Now here, what happens when they are talking together and Mrs. Fitzgerald with the personality of Mrs. Pearson wants to know about, uh, about uh, that is her husband. Then she tells over there, yes, he also, that is Mrs. Pearson with the personality of Mrs. Fitzgerald tells over there, she has told him uh, what, uh, that is how people laugh at him 
at the club besides that one uh, that is everything the reality about him she has told at this mrs fitzgerald with the personality of mrs pearson she gets uh, like she uh, like she gets nervous and she tells she supposed not to do that one then mrs uh, pearson with the personality of mrs fitzgerald tells that that is the right thing only and that is very soon that is they would be listening to even her also it means to mrs pearson also and they would be eating out of her hand means they would value her in the family mrs fitzgerald i don't think i want them eating out of my hand then she tells mrs pearson impatiently well whatever you want they will be doing all three of them mark my words mrs pearson then mrs fitzgerald with the personality of mrs pearson tells that she doesn't want they they supposed to eat out of their hands then mrs pearson with the personality of mrs fitzgerald tells that that is very soon it means they would come to know their places in the family and then three of them would listen to her and she tells over there let her remember her words over there that they would be all right and they would listen, they would obey her now children next george enters left gloomily he is unpleasantly surprised when he sees the visitor he moves to the armchair left sits down heavily and gloomily lights his pipe then he looks from mrs pearson to mrs fitzgerald who is regarding him anxiously like here now here george enters left it means he is very sad and he is very much unpleasant Uh, even he doesn't want that Mrs. Fitzgerald supposed to come. That visitor even also he doesn't uh, like, doesn't respect her, and he sits in the chair over there and he lights his pipe. And then he looks from Mrs. Pearson to Mrs. Fitzgerald, and what he notices over there that she is giving him regards, and that thing he is very much worried. It means he is thinking differently that why she has been giving him that much reg- regard. George just looked in for a minute. I suppose Mrs. Fitzgerald. It means that she tells over there to indicates to Mrs. Fitzgerald, and she tells that him because she has been looking towards him. Then she tells over there. Then let him look over there for a minute and see around what is going on. Mrs. Fitzgerald, who doesn't know what she is saying, well, yes, I suppose so, George. And what she did over there, that is, yes, she is telling over there, yes. that is she is observing the things over there and she calls him by his first name in english culture children the person who is called by the first name that is it means you are very known very well known to the person in a friendly circle or in the fam- or in the family it means in the friend circle or in the family otherwise you have to follow the formality but here when she called because she is the neighbor only she is supposed to call him mr george pearson but she called him george at that george it means he couldn't believe upon his ears uh, that is eyes and ears now george a guest a guest me shocked and surprised george mrs fitzgerald nervously oh i'm sorry it means she realizes her mistake that she is not mrs pearson though she has the personality of mrs pearson but she is mrs fitzgerald mrs pearson impatiently what does it matter your name is george isn't it who do you think you are duke of edinburgh at that mrs pearson who has understood the things over there it means what is the position over there then she tells over there she just tries to make uh, that is it means that to get over because mrs fitzgerald with the personality of mrs pearson gets nervous then to uh, control that situation over there she tells she asks george what that is what his name is if his name is george then if a person is calling him by his first name then what does it matter it doesn't matter anything besides that one he is not such a big personality like here she makes his fun and she tells if uh, like he is uh, duke of edinburgh it means very big personality that she cannot call him by the first name it means mrs pearson that is uh, she is, uh, she overtakes the situation and she tells that if she has called by the first name that's okay now here george angrily gets angry what's he got to do with it just tell me what and and it isn't bad enough without her calling me george no tea no tea pompy pompy pearson and poor doris has been crying her ear eyes out upstairs yes crying her eyes out then what she tells over there that mrs pearson like after that one 
when she just makes fun of him that he is not Duke of Edinburgh, that is nobody can call him like that but by the first name, then George tells, he gets angry and he tells that I do what he, what's he got to with it, just tell me. The aunt isn't bad enough without her calling me George that way that he wants to make uh, Mrs. Pearson understand that she's supposed to call him Mr. George Pearson and she's supposed not to call uh, him by the first name. And besides that one, T is not ready. And uh, that is, and uh, she missed, and he indicates to Mrs. Fitzgerald and tells that she's calling him Pompey Pompey Pearson. And he's telling even the Doris also, uh, like, uh, has been crying. And uh, upstairs over there, it means the whole house is becoming a mess. Okay, children. Now, here you can just make it out that uh, situation in the family is like that. Those, uh, those who. Uh, used to go out after uh, that is they never used to stay at home that they were at home and their their mother is getting angry on them besides that one George Pearson who uh, that is uh, who was telling before that that he has to go to club and he's there and is listening to Mrs. Pearson you can just understand that uh, what they're going on uh, in the family okay children now I'm stopping it here and uh, you do one thing you just go through every day children the lesson is long. I have told you many times. So to understand this play every day, whenever I am uh, releasing the video, you're supposed to see that one and go through it along with your own book. Okay, take care. Bye. Work hard.